Again, I like and respect John Lynch. I don't think there's any way to sit here today and say good hire because there's no, what's the evidence? I think John, it's a unique hire. I think that it speaks to the San Francisco 49ers position. The organization has hit rock bottom. They've given him, you can evidence by six year contract. You don't get six year contracts unless you're, the, the other side is, has no leverage and is desperate. They're talking about giving Kyle Shanahan, the new head coach, a six year contract. That is saying, man, we're starting from scratch here. Uh, it says Blaine Gabbard and Colin Kaepernick are our quarterbacks. We have very little talent. Uh, so, but for me to sit here and cape up and say good hire, I can't do it because there's nothing to base it. On. I'm not a big fan of surprises. Uh, be it my kids, my any, my family, my job. We're getting to a point with San Francisco. They're surprising us with every move. <laughs> they fired Jim Harbaugh. Whoa, what's going on? They hired Jim Tom Sula, no coaching experience. What's going on? They hired Chip, then fired Chip in a year. What's going on? And now they hire a GM with no experience. Like, I understand over the course of 10 years if you made a surprise move, but when you've made like five <laughs> in like four years. That's where you draw the line, right? Well, that five surprises. It generally shows me, whether it's a family or a business or a football team, um, a, it reeks of a little desperation. And here's what I'll say about a six year contract I think that's great as long as you're going to get to see the six years of the six year contract, or at least four years, be committed to something. Because you have to. You can't keep changing year in and year out. Lions were committed to Matt Millen for eight years. Okay, look, I'm not saying eight years needs to be the number, but there needs to be enough time so that a system can be put in place. And here's what I'll say about those jobs. Those jobs are hard, whether it's a first-time head coach or a first-time GM with a lot of experience. When you have no experience, there, there's so many things that are going to come up who, who are they going to bounce those ideas off of? Mike You've Shanahan. got a first-time head coach. Is he joining the staff? <laughs> that's what I thought. Shanahan. I thought Mike Shanahan. I, I, I'm guessing. I mean, okay. I mean, we're projecting that Mike Shanahan. Yeah. Is he going to be on speed <laughs> dial? Is he moving it? Like, what? They're going to have to make decisions. Someone's, someone's got to articulate a vision of that organization. Is it coming from Kyle? Is it coming from John? Who's going to make those decisions? And who? what are they drawing from? Think about this. If, if we didn't know how good of a guy John was, and he didn't go to Stanford, this would be lunacy. The only reason it's not is we're like, well, he went to Stanford, and we know him personally, and he's really he's sharp. He's a nice John guy. Elway. Huh? Elway. Yeah, he but I mean, Elway, if you John. didn't have these connections, I mean, I asked Chris Carter today. Chris Carter was like, Are you, I wouldn't know what I was doing. And I'm like, wow, Chris has dealt with personnel, high school. I mean, I... I yeah, the media hates this move because he didn't pay his dues. And you know there are a big pay-your-dues situation in the media. Was yeah, he a I scout? Am. I in paying your yeah. dues. Colin was a radio <laughs> guy in Vegas and Tampa. You paid your I dues. I paid my dues. Away. I didn't pay my dues, okay? I started a blog, a website, and That's I made an end run. Not really. I didn't go to small markets like Lexington, Kentucky and write Sitting in for, your for newspapers. Hey, my mom's basement. Get Sitting it right. Your Come on. <laughs> but I'm saying, John Lynch has been around football for 30 years, guys. Come on. There's a, he's been a sponge everywhere he's been. I have no problem with this hire whatsoever. But, but, but there's a difference between being around football and actually being involved with the decisions. You've got you've to put a scouting system in place. How are you going to evaluate the players? How are you going to evaluate the evaluators? How are you going to evaluate the current team? And, and look, playing football is a great background for that. John is really smart. I assume he'll get really smart people around him that can balance off the experience. But you have a first-time head coach and a first-time GM. There are a lot of things that are going to come up that experience helps us all. 